sorry about the shaky camera. I'm holding it with one hand and I've got issues with holding on to stuff anyway, so it shakes a bit, but just trying to give you a little bit of a scenic while I chit chat. <laughs> um, been having migraines for the past three days, but I think it's been caused by neck pain because I've been having neck pain as well. And I was diagnosed with migraines when I was 17 after I had my daughter. And ever since I started having really bad issues with my back and hips um, and kidney issues, uh, of course, you know, I have been seeing someone for those issues and um, later was diagnosed with uh, RA lupus and Sjogren's and scoliosis and other things but I had a chiropractor working on my spine which of course they have to work on your neck as well because it all um, goes together and I never had neck pain before until after he was working on me and of course I stopped letting him do it because I was having such a bad problem with it but from time to time it will kick in and I wish I never let him do it <laughs> but the way these doctors are and the way that insurance and all that is if you don't let them do certain things and so forth or you don't do certain things you will not get your medication and that kind of sucks that you have to, you know, be a guinea pig and all this and that just to get your medication. But anyway, believe me, um, <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better today. I, I was praying and I believe the Lord touched me. Um, because I'm not feeling the pain anywhere near what I was feeling before. And that's a good thing, you know, that's a good thing because we all have our own personal relationship with God. And I'm so glad that I don't have to go to someone and, you know, I guess tell them my sins or whatever and them speak for me and pray to God because I can do it myself. <clears throat> I have my own relationship with God, with the Lord above, with Jesus. I remember when my daughter was like two years old, that's when I first got saved. And I was definitely not ready for it, but I've always told the Lord that if he was there, if he was real, <laughs> um, he would have to move me in a way that I could not deny it. And I'll tell you what, he sure did it. And I prayed, I know, morning, noon, and night to stop smoking cigarettes, and I prayed every day, and on Christmas morning is when he took the, the addiction, the want, the need away from me. I remember telling everybody that the Lord, what the Lord did for me, and they asked when he did that, and I said this morning, and everybody would be like, oh, just wait, you'll be wanting a cigarette, you'll be wanting this, you'll be wanting that, and I went seven years, seven years without wanting one, and of course, stupid me, I let the devil, I let the devil right in 
because I was working two jobs, taking care of my kids and the family and stuff like that. I was still married. Um, and one day I was so stressed out. I asked my coworker at work if I can have a drag of her cigarette and that first drag did it. That's all she wrote. That's all it takes is to just let let it slip in one time. And after that, after work, I found myself at the store buying me cigarettes. And that was when I was in my 20s. <laughs> because when, um, before, you know, of course my daughter was two years old when I stopped smoking, so I was a non-smoker, you know, before I got pregnant with Raymond, while I was pregnant with Raymond, after Raymond was born, you know, all that. So he didn't know me as a smoker, and his dad stopped smoking too, not too long after I did. And then I felt so bad because, of course, as soon as I come home smoking, not even three or four days later, their dad started smoking. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? things you do can cause a chain reaction in a lot of things. But yeah, didn't mean to talk what, seven minutes now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just sitting out here relaxing. I've been out here since, well, on and off since 10 o'clock, 10 something. Um, haven't been out here the whole duration because I can't be in the heat or sun that long anyway, but this is what I'm doing at the moment. Got all my windows and stuff open. The fan's going. It's got a nice breeze, so just enjoying it for right now. Because I know it's going to get hotter. <laughs> <laughs>